All right. It's been one of those days from hell here, guys. It, we, we are the Dallas Cowboys. We stink. We suck. We're sorry. We got Stephen Jones out there basically saying he's kind of surprised that, that we don't, or don't have the personnel and everything else trying to make excuses for their F-ups. We got Mike McCarthy who's turned into Mike McCarthy, not the Super Bowl winning Mike McCarthy, but the Mike McCarthy that Aaron Rodgers literally beat over the head and ran out of the, uh, out of the area. And I haven't even seen this clip, but I know I'm going to be mad already. Micah Parsons with Diggs, basically Diggs basically told the reporter after he questioned him, uh, what were you doing on that play? Because it looked like you were kind of jogging around waiting for somebody else to make the tackle when George Kittle scored. And he kind of got pissed off because of Twitter and so on and went after the reporter. Let's go to the tape here and listen into this stuff. I, I know I'm going to be mad. Where's the sound? Where's the sound? How come I don't have any sound? Oh, here we go. Saying people uh, in a building just because, here you know, go. they Look. always kind of make you smile. Like, bro, you know, other than that, bro, there's been turmoil on the, like I said, media outlets again from, you know, now people complain about the tours. If anything, I almost like saying people uh, in a building just because, you know, they always kind of make you smile. Like, they be like, oh, my God, there go Trayvon and Micah. Like, you know, and, and they yeah. never interact with you. You know, I think I interact with them before yeah. they interact with me. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. you know, they bring positive energy. They're so excited. And, I mean, honestly, mm -hmm. what's the difference between, you know, they don't know this about our organization, but every Saturday we have family ice cream time. Our family, friends all come yeah. to the facilities after work, and yeah. we take them on tours yeah. throughout it. So what's the difference between that? You know what I'm saying? Like, is it soft I don't ice think cream? That stuff yeah. ever really should ever matter or come into the you know determination of how you play, because the only thing that matters is what you're doing. Yeah, it's it's my Saban always told me like, don't let outside factors you know mess with what you got going on. Like, keep the main purpose. You know what the main purpose is, and that's when in football can't nothing outside of that bother you. Can nothing outside of that affect you. You know, just you focus on what you need to do. Why do you care that somebody is watching you, you know? Mm -hmm. So Facts. it doesn't matter that we having tours and doing stuff like that. Like, you do your job, you do what you're supposed to do. What do you care for? They don't got nothing to do with you. They not touching you. They ain't talking to you. They're not doing mm -hmm. nothing to you. So what, what, what you care for? That's a fact. And that and that's kind of the same way I am, that nothing really matters except for what happens on the field and happens in the meeting rooms. Cause they they ain't coming in there. Yeah. They not walking in there and knocking yeah. on them doors like <laughs> they literally yeah. saying the biggest like, trade. Okay, you want to see me work out? People come watch me work out all the time. Like in my God. in the off season, people be on the, at the park watching working out. Like it's nothing. Yeah, nothing's just do, new. Just handle your business. Literally, you know, you getting paid handsomely to do your job. Focus on do your job and let the <laughs> higher ups and tours do their job. Like they don't got nothing to do yeah. with. It you know, Sunday, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you worried mm -hmm. about, if you so worried about the tours, that's why you gonna lose on Sunday. Like, <laughs> ain't nothing yeah. to do with it. Worried for it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. What a waste. Coach Mike McCarthy reels, reveals through and on the Cowboys wasting on our time on stuff, okay. Okay. Calls out the media for the negative. Okay. So, let's see. On Anthony Richardson. Mm hmm. Let's see. What else? All right. How about this? One? Services company. Okay. Let's check out this one. Said you wanted to, you know, speak your mind about. Obviously, there was an altercation between you and the reporter Mike yesterday on Kittle's 43-yard mm. reception. I'm going to just let you, you know, take it away. Like, what's your thoughts? Why Why did you react, you know, the way you did? And, mm. you know, what? what's your thoughts about that? You know, media trying to portray an image that isn't there. Because, and then I, before you go, I do think, you know, he was wrong because obviously you're a man coverage and times you got to see it you know, 
kid who's going upfield. So um, the narratives yeah. that he's trying to drive from the video was wrong. But kind of give your thoughts what led to that reaction and that outcome. Yeah, I just felt like, you know, it was unnecessary. You know, I just felt like, you know, he was trying to use my name, you know, for clicks. And, you know, after the game, I just happened to see it, you know. And I looked, I clicked on it, I seen who it was. I was like, oh, he right here. I just saw you. So I went up to him, you know, and I just spoke how I felt. Um, I felt like I was a lot of emotions, you know, just losing, coming out the game. You know, we fresh off the loss. You know, I'm a competitor, so, you know, I wanted to win. So, you know, just a lot of emotions and, you know, I just kind of let my, you know, emotions get the best of me. But, you know, at the end of the day, it still doesn't make it right for anybody just to be saying anything or just trying to throw dirt on your name or make you, you know, seem seem like you're doing bad or a bad job, you know, because, you know, I feel like I played my hardest game yesterday. Uh, I felt like, you know, I did everything I could. I felt like, you know, I was tackling, um, setting the edges, you know, just doing everything to help my team win. And for him to just try to throw that on my name, it just didn't sit right with me because you were, like, completely wrong. Yeah. And, and you know, I'll be feeling you right now. I'll be feeling that, too, because, I mean, obviously, when things aren't going the way they should, it's like everyone goes into panic. You know, the fire trucks start coming. Yeah. Um, you know, because everything thinks everything. They, but, I mean, look at me. You know, three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago, they was telling everybody to send me to the trade block. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah. I, I get it, bro. People are always going to build narratives and drive, you know, speculation to spice up the fans that don't know no better, knowing they know better, you yeah. know, uh, <laughs> just so they could, <laughs> they like, ramble on. Anything. Nah, that yeah, clickbait stuff. Yeah, they say anything. But, like, if I, if I was wrong, you know, like, if I gave up a play, I gave up a touchdown or something, like, I can't say nothing. Like, you know, I had to take that on the chin. But it's like, you, like, just – saying anything like i'm not going for that i'm not going to just allow you to try to like make me seem out of that play make me seem like i'm the problem like that's not cool and you're right here you work for the cowboys you you know for the cowboys you work you know with us like you know you might not know what's going on but you know that that wasn't on me so it just was weird to me and i just didn't like that so Well, you know, if if you don't want them to talk about you, if you don't want them to talk about you, there's an easy way to keep them from doing that. And that's by winning. Winning cures all. It was a horseshit performance yesterday, and you got to be held accountable. You're going to get paid that kind of money. You're there to do a job, and you're going to be scrutinized when you get beat down week after week and literally are a disappointment. So that's all I have to say about that. And uh, I got to get going on Monday Night Football. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you soon. Peace.